Have you ever showed up late to a job interview or accidentally replied all to an email chain? Oh, yes. Well, in a recent LinkedIn survey, it found that more than half of working professionals admit to making an office mistake. So we asked our Instagram followers to share their career catastrophes <laughs> with us. Uh-oh. And we've got some <laughs> advice. Catherine Fisher is a LinkedIn career expert, and Valerie Burton is an executive coach and author of Brave, Brave Enough, Enough to, to succeed. succeed, a terrific book. Yes. Hello, ladies. Good to Hi. See you. Are we're going to get started with mistake number one. These again came from our viewers at home. Someone emailed me complaining about their manager and accidentally CC'd the manager. Oh, dear. CC'd. <laughs> okay, after the original, the initial, like, OMG, I'm fired, what happens? What, what? You know, I think right there you have to quickly repair the relationship with your manager. How? Well, I think you need to apologize, and then you need to tell them how you're going to address the problem that was stated in the email. What you don't want to do is go in there and make excuses for it, but you really need to give them confidence that you understand what a terrible position you put them in and how you will address feedback in the future. But right. what if it was true? Yeah. Well, it... It is true. is true, yes, Probably and I think that's true. what you yeah. have to fess up to. Yeah. yeah, and if you're the manager, I think you have to take the emotion out of this because they're complaining and they're complaining to other people. Yeah. So if there's a grain of truth in what they're saying, you want to address it, have the conversation with them, but also ask them, if you're going to complain, I would ask you to come directly to me. Right. Well, that's being mature and adult. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes managers aren't yeah. either one. Well, that means that's they... why they're being complained about. That's right, but they need to step up. Yeah, they do, girl. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Number two, I settled into a, a job in the hope that the situation will change for the better. Like, sometimes you take a job and you're like, it's not great now, but I bet you it'll get better. Oh. You know, I think the, the really important thing here is to, before you take that job, is to think about what really motivates me, what am I in it for? Mm -hmm. And then when you take it, you should be thinking through, okay, if I'm not happy, is it because I'm not getting the skills I need? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't wait for the job to just come to oh, you. Yeah. You really need to think through, you know, how you want to what take it. What if you're just doing it for a paycheck because you need it to make a living? And you need an action plan. Hope is not a strategy. So you yeah. want to say, okay, so what yeah. is it that I'm missing in this job that I'd like in another job? and begin moving in that direction and be persistent about it until you have that opportunity to change. Do a great job where you are, but have that vision for where you want to go. Is there a certain amount of time that you should stay at a job? Uh, or is there is there any that what is it, something looks bad on your resume because you're only there six months that yeah, kind of that's thing? A good question. Oh. I don't think so. I think it, as long as you're very thoughtful in terms of where you want to take your career, if you can explain to someone why you only stayed for six months and having clarity of what drives you, then I think you're okay. Yeah, it's one job, but if it's it's three or four six month jobs, that's a hard one. So it's a chronic thing. Yeah. All right. Here's a mistake three. I printed my resume and cover letter at work for a job interview. Someone else picked it up. Uh. Off the printer. <laughs> uh. Scoop. Oh, why are All they right. doing that there at work? Because maybe it's their only opportunity or that's where the printer is, uh, you know. <laughs> so this is this is your workplace and you need to do things that are personal at home. So first of all, you want to be able to apologize about it. And so, uh, to, to the whom? person who picked it up? Well, if the person comes to you, you want to be able to say, here's what I'm doing. I think you need to be forthright. When you make a mistake, just like sending an email by accident, you own it. And then maybe you can turn it around if it's your boss and explain what you're doing. Are you looking for new opportunities? Are you wanting to use your skills? Are you wanting to contribute in a new way? You might not be able to turn it around, but I think being honest is the best strategy. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? And, and really, how you leave a company is as important as how you enter it. Yes. So I completely agree that you have to have that honest conversation. Don't, don't make excuses if you really are looking to leave. Why is it so hard for us? <laughs> To have those honest conversations. I think conversations. you're afraid you're going to get fired. It's, it makes you vulnerable. Yeah, because you need your job. It's fear. We're afraid of what's yeah. going to happen. And yeah. I'll tell you what, if you can be brave enough to talk about the things that you need to talk about, a lot of times you open up communication. It's like a breakthrough. And good things can happen That's as a right. result. All right. That's here's, right. Here's another email question. I both accidentally replied all to an email I didn't mean to and CC'd in the wrong person on an email. Gee, I'm so glad I don't yeah. do email. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could that be in again. so much trouble. I know. And that's just like one keystroke, and you're wondering if that's your obit. And you can't obit. get it back, can you? Yeah. No. You can't get it back. Don't email quickly. Don't text quickly. Take a breath. Take a it breath. It is so easy. And in fact, if you're thinking about someone and complaining about the person or saying something, you're more likely to type their name in by accident. So always oh, read gee, it. That's horrifying. Absolutely. <gasps> type their name and then send it to them when you're yes. complaining about them. Have you done that? 
know, but a friend of mine did, and I remember it. <laughs> I, remember exactly. it so, I remember it so clearly. So oh, interesting. Guys, thanks. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you.